Alright guys, my name is Yon Night Wisdom and this is a guide to Olympic diving. Arm stand twist is probably the most difficult of all the directions. As if doing the handstand on the edge of 10 meter wasn't daunting and difficult enough, you have to be composed enough to combine the somersaults and the twists. If you lose your composure and concentration, this is what can happen. Arm stand forward twist requires a tremendous amount of strength to control the body as the diver snaps off the board. Only a small selection of divers would choose to do this. Also, the timing of the twist is so important because momentum must be created for the somersault before attempting to twist or else the dive will be too slow. So doing this dive with more than one twist is unrealistic. Arm stand back twist is a little bit more straightforward. For female divers, it's definitely the most common of the arm stand variations. Of course, as women only have to choose five dives from six groups, they don't actually have to do an arm stand. However, at the World Championships in the women's 10 meter final, in Budapest 2017, nine of the 12 divers used the arm stand back double with one and a half twists. One chose to do a forward arm stand with one twist and only one didn't use an arm stand at all. In men's diving, this dive is done with an extra twist by the top divers. But in comparison, only three of the 12 divers in the men's 10 meter final in Budapest 2017 used an arm stand twist. But for men, it is a requirement to do an arm stand, so the rest of them opted for the arm stand back triple tuck or the arm stand back triple pike. I most certainly have never done this dive forward or backwards. I honestly think I've struggled to get the timing of the twist right, so it's a good thing I'm not a 10 meter diver. But for those who do, taking the right steps in the learning process is very important. Breaking the skill all the way down, Practicing the component pieces separately and then putting the dive together on 10 meter will result in a more successful dive. Any questions, slide them into the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. If not, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on next week's episode of a guide to Olympic diving. Peace.